drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go! Blue and Red Alliance firing off their cargo. Looks like only the Blue Alliance happens to be scoring. But all three robots on the Red Alliance were able to taxi out of their tarmac, so that'll still count. Now into the tele-operated period, humans take control. 1678 getting some high hub scores right off the bat. Sixteen seventy eight, that's Citrus Circuits. They seem to be scoring pretty quickly here. Thirty seven fifty nine and forty four fifteen in the corner of the field seem to be locked together in a fight to the death. Sixteen seventy eight just zipping around the field, collecting cargo as fast as they can and immediately firing back at the hub, scoring most of their shots. Just like that. 31.28 on the Blue Alliance. That's Aluminum Narwhals scoring some points in the low hub. <laughs> Looks like 37.59, that's Smart Bots, and 44.15, Epic Robots in the corner of the field. They don't seem to be able to get away from each other. That's all right. There's still plenty of action on the rest of the field. Even with just four robots driving around, collecting cargo and shooting, we're still seeing a lot going on. 3859 trying to get their cargo back. They just dropped a piece. Oh, there's a sponsor display from one of the robots laying on the field. Now with 35 seconds left, 3128 already on the Blue Alliance getting up to the traversal room. There we go. And that's our 30 second warning. Blue Alliance already in a good spot for those rungs. 38.59 on the Red Alliance attempting to hook themselves on the middle rung. Oh, there we go. Blue Alliance, that's two robots on the high rung. Oh, correction, on the traversal rung, the highest rung there is. With eight seconds left, can the Red Alliance do it too? Five, four, three, two, one. The Blue Alliance wins with a score of 113 points to 42. Blue Alliance will be continuing on with four ranking points, but that's all right. Red Alliance, you still got one ranking point.